Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use your own custom code for Aquas. Um, this can be useful for instance when you are underwater and you want to have your own custom actions or your own custom script running while underwater. Now Aquas has a fairly easy to access um, interface to do that and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, actually, I have done this tutorial before, but I had to do it again because for some reason, uh, last time I recorded this tutorial, the um, Visual Studio window wasn't visible in the video, and I didn't notice that, so I'm doing it again. So now, um, all I have in the scene is a terrain and aquas set up with uh, underwater effects. If you uh, don't know yet how to do that, please check out the quick setup tutorial for Aquas. Uh, I'm not going to do it in this video. In this video, I'm only going to show you how to add your own cust uh, your own underwater effects. So now let's just quickly run the scene and see um, what happens. So first we have, all we see is the water and if I select the main camera and move it down to go underwater, you see that uh, underwater the uh, underwater effects are triggered and we want our own custom code to run uh, when we go underwater so yeah let's stop this um, let's exit game mode for now and we're gonna create an empty game object and we're gonna cl click add component and we're gonna add a new script called um, custom underwater actions or oh, let's just call, call it custom actions for now which is sufficient for us and let's open it up in uh, Visual Studio this might take a while, no, there it is okay and oh no, actually let's open it up in uh, Another, another Visual Studio window. Here it is. Load all. And uh, I'm very sorry for that. Let's just quickly go to Custom Actions and open it up here. Okay. And here we are. Now, what do we need to do to access the information on whether we're on the water or not? First, we need our own variable of type aquas le oh, let me quickly put this microphone away um, aquas lens effect and we're going to call it my effects and in the start method we're simply going to say my effects equals now let's just quickly have a look at unity and uh, we're going to go to our main camera and here's our underwater camera effects prefab we're simply going to copy that name and go back to visual studio and we're going to say my effects equals game object dot find and in quotes the name of our underwater camera effects prefab and we're going to say dot get component um, Aquas lens effects and that should do it and now in the update method we can access the information on whether the camera is underwater or not by simply saying if my effects dot underwater my effects dot um, underwater yeah, that, that was correct. And in here, we can now run our custom code. So um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm simply going to say debug.log. And I'm going to have a debug log um, run my custom actions. So this is just, just a little placeholder. And I'm going to save that and go back to Unity and wait until it saves. 
and if we've done everything correctly we should be able to simply run the scene and if we grab our main camera and we go underwater we now have run f because I made a typo there run uh, my custom actions and if we go back afloat it stops debugging so we see that it works just to be correct we're, we're going to say else do nothing and um, yeah that's that's pretty much it now I've uh, corrected this um, another thing that um, you might want to do and uh, Aquas also gives you um, the possibility to do it is to trigger the wet lens effect at will um, to do that uh, we're simply going to we're simply going to add a another variable. We're going to uh, add a public bool, and we're going to call it spray. And we're going to say if spray, then we want to trigger the wet lens effect. And um, to do that, we say my effects dot um, t which is um, which is the time value that is being used to determine how the drops run down the lens and how long it stays wet um, we simply set that to zero and then it'll be as if you just came out of the water so the wet, uh, the wet lens effect is going to trigger and also we're going to say my effects dot run down equals true that's a boo and with that boo, we're saying that yes, right now the drops should be running down our lens. And uh, last but not least, we're going to say spray equals false. Um, that's just for, for the sake of demonstrations. In, fa in fact, you don't need to do it that way. You can do it whichever way you like. Um, all that's important is that you set the t value to zero and set run down to true and do it only once that's why i have spray set to false here because if you keep it to true it's gonna it's gonna do that every single frame and that's not what we want to do and um yeah that's that's it so i'm gonna save that and go back to unity and once it's done uh, we can simply click play and we're still going to have um, our custom code running when we're on the water and now that we're afloat we can also uh, go to our empty game object and here we have the uh, bool spray and if I check that we're going to have the wet lens effect triggering yeah so yeah that's that's pretty much it um, I hope this tutorial um, helps you to add your own custom code to um, your own custom code to Aquas. So, if you need any help or um, have any questions, feel, please feel free to post um, on the Aquas forum or send me a message directly. And uh, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.